hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial how are you all doing hope you're doing good and hope you're staying safe my name is cynthia if you're here for the first time you're highly welcome please subscribe to my channel if you have not done that don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get to know each time i upload new videos so in this video we're going to be making a high-waisted double circle skirt i'll be using two and a half yards of african print for this tutorial and i'll be adding line into it so I wanted to add interfacing to it to make it a little bit hard, but um, as you can see the fabric on its own is hard. So I don't think there's any need for that. So I will go ahead and lay my fabric on the table. The waist measurement I'm using is 28 inches. Because I'm cutting out two, I'm making double circle. So I will divide the waist by two. So 28 divided by two is 14 inches. So I will divide 14 inches by 6.28. 6.28 is the formula used for a full circle. So 14 divided by 6.28 is 2.2. So that's the radius. The radius is 2.2. Then I will round it to 2.5. The length of the skirt is 23 inches. So I'll be using 3 inches for waistband. If you minus 3 inches from 23, you'll be left with 20 inches. So 20 inches is the length of the skirt and the radius is 2.5. So to determine the fabric I will cut out, I will now add the 20 inches together with the radius. So 20 inches is the length and the radius is 2.5 inches. I will add both of them together. So 20 plus 2.5 is 22.5 inches. So that will determine the length of the fabric I'm going to be cutting out. So right from here, I will measure 2.25, calculating this so you don't waste much fabric. That will give you the exact fabric you're going to be cutting out. So I'll measure 22 and a half inches. Then I'll fold it. So that's the length. So now it's folded into two. Then I will fold it again into two. So it's folded into four now. So I have this video in my channel. We can check it out. I have a double skirt in my channel. The difference is that I use a stretchy fabric for that one. And, uh, and this one is high waisted. Remember our radius is 2.5. Right from here, I will mark 2.5 rounds. So from this 2.5, I will take my 20 inches. That's the length of the skirt. I will mark 20 inches around. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I will cut out this first. And cut out the damp part. So I'm using two and a half yards of fabric for this tutorial. So this is one part. Remember we are cutting out two of these. So I will use this to cut out the other part to make it two and I will cut out the lining also too because I will be adding lining to it. So guys, I finished cutting out the fabric. I cut out two of these and two of the lining. So I will go ahead and split each into two. We split one side open, so I'm splitting one side of the lining open as well. So what I will do is to open up the lining and the fabric. So lay them against each other. 
So I will lay the normal fabric against the lining. So make sure the right side are facing each other. So I will go ahead and sew it here. And sew the, the edges round. I will do the same thing to the other side. Now finish sewing them round. Now we go ahead and turn it inside out. I will turn it right from the upper part, that's the waistline. So this place is open, I will turn it right from here. Before turning it, I make sure I notch it around. I will notch the edges around. So I will turn it inside out. So I will turn this one also. I will iron the edges to make sure the lining is not showing. Now we go ahead and join the both panels together. So I'll make sure the right side are facing each other. So I will not add the zip at the back. The zip will be by the side of the skirt. So I'm pinning them together. So I'll pin this other side. So the zip will be by the left side of the skirt. This is my zip. I will make sure I extend the zip to the waistband. So I will sew here and then leave this place unsewed because that is where I'm going to insert my zip. Then I will sew this side also before we add the band to the waist. So I'll finish joining both sides together. I sew the other side and sew this side and left this side and sew that is where I'm going to insert my zip. I'm moving on. So I'm going to be cutting out the waistband. I cut out about a 7 inches waistband. Remember it's a high waisted skirt. So I'm going to fold it into two. So fold that into two is three and a half inches. That's the length. I cut the waistband according to the waistline. I added two inches for sewing allowance for the other side and this side. The waistline is 28 inches, so this is 28 inches. I added two inches to it, that is 30 inches. I will close this side and close this side. So I will sew it from here to here and leave this place unsewed. That is my sewing allowance. So I've sewn this side, I will turn it, I turn it to the right side. I will take the skirt and take one side so I'll make sure the right side of the band is facing the wrong side of the skirt and remember I left half inch on sewed on this side so this half inch is my sewing allowance to join it together to the skirt I will pin them around. So I finished pinning it around. So after sewing this first one to the skirt, and I will fold the waistband into two, then turn it inside like so. Take half an inch and use this upper one to cover the damp part. You use the half inch for the upper part to cover the damp part. And I will take it like so and sew it around. 
So I finished attaching the waistband to the waist. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. So we now go ahead and uh, insert our zip to the side of the skirt. So I will turn the skirt to the wrong side. So like I said earlier, the zip will be by the side of the, the skirt. So this is my zipper allowance. So I'll open up my zip. So I will sew my zip here. Then I will turn it to the other side. And attach this on this side. So guys, I finished attaching the zip to the side of the skirt. So there is no need of adding button here. So I just extended the zip to the upper part because I don't want to add button here. You can add beds to it if you want to. I'll be adding beds to it. So that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Please stay safe. I love you. Bye.